What is going on guys? It's Tomo Gaming HD here and welcome to the F1 career mode. Now here we are on screen picking an F2 team to go through to try and get into the F1 series. I pick Arden Racing uh, just because of a UK based company. I'm a Englishman, UK driver. So I thought, well, I might as well stick to home. Um, so we pick the uh, the Arden Racing team, and then you have to select a driver academy. So obviously, it'd be much easier to get into these teams when we get into the F1 series. If we get into the F1 series, that is. Uh, I pick uh, the the McLaren, well, the Mercedes, sorry, the Mercedes team. Uh, we've got Arden Racing that I'm racing for. The step up, obviously, is to Racing Point, which is like the sister team, and obviously there's Williams there as well. Now the audio for this this file is corrupted. No idea why. So I'm going to have to talk you through every scenario that happens. So race one, we're in Spain, and we're doing very well in the race, and we lose a lot of power. Four cars passes, and yeah, we're struggling for pace. We're in, we're in fifth, we were in first, but now we're in fifth. And the scenario now is, the car is still not performing the best it can, but we have our teammate right behind us. Our teammate is Lucas Weber. Now, what do we do? Do we let him pass? Or do we carry on and try and finish the race in fifth position? Now, for me, I think that it would be daft to keep him behind us with a faster car. And obviously, we're on the same team. So, I've got to look for a way to let him pass without compromising myself. First corner, as you can tell, the car is dreadful to drive in this first scenario. Lucas Weber is all over me. Which is probably a good thing. Like we come onto a main straight, I let him pass, but I'm in, I'm dreadfully slow, and I have to speed up there, and I just about keep sixth position. Now we're going into the the last bend of the uh, the first the, the first lap, but really nothing else happens. We managed to get onto the straight, and yeah, we come into the last lap. Like we had four laps, couldn't really catch anyone, didn't really get attacked from behind or anything. So yeah, sixth position. Our teammate, Weber, manages to come forth. So obviously we let him through and he managed to overtake someone which was really, really helpful for the team. Very happy with that result. But obviously now you don't get the audio, so you don't hear what happens, the confrontation. So what I'll do is I'll speak to you a little bit about the series and then when we get to the uh, the scenario, I will uh, try my best to do the acting of Devin Butler and Lucas Weber. But... Yeah, this series is going to hopefully come out every Friday on my channel. I know this video is out on a Sunday, but the, the F1 Fridays is hopefully going to be a thing. Now, you need to guys let, let me know what uh, little things you'd like to see, if there's any details that I've missed from when the first couple of episodes come out. So I really need your uh, opinions on stuff. But as you can see, Devin Butler takes the top spot with Russian time. And look at him. He's very happy indeed. Uh, a very good win for him. The team, obviously, and it helps him in the championship fight to win the F2 championship. Uh, you know, they, they it's a very strange scenario to have in your first race. You're winning the race and then all of a sudden you're in fifth and your teammate's a lot faster. It must be very frustrating for any driver to have to go through that. But as you can see, Devon won. Um, we finished in sixth. Our teammate finished in fourth. But that's because we let him through. If we didn't let him through, there was no way he was going to catch him. But yeah, Devon wins, unfortunately for us, and our championship fight, Devon takes control of the championship. Now, coming on to the scenario, I don't know why I left this page on for so long. We're coming to the scenario now, where we're walking back to the pits with Lucas Weber, and the loading screen takes a long time. Yeah, we meet, oh sorry, we meet the press first. Yeah, I forgot about that. We meet the press, we've got to speak to the press. And keep them on side. And basically, my agent here, I think she's called Emma. She's she's a bit of a stuck up cow, but um, don't don't tell her I said that. But basically, here, she's running through the fact that I've got to speak to the press, and she says, "Be careful what you say, because anything you say to the press can go very public very quickly. So just be mindful of that." You have two different styles of uh, Formula One. You have sportsmanship and showmanship. Now, I'm a very sportsman person. Like I, I put the team first. She's explaining to me what the uh, the interview process is. That you know I'm going to get a lot more interviews now that I'm a I'm an upcoming driver. So she asked me some questions. The questions do come up screen, so I don't have to answer them for you. But basically, she's going to ask me a couple of questions, and we're going to have to answer them. And 
Here she is asking. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? I have no idea what I put. But you get uh, so long to answer the question. And then she put, how do you feel about order to give up the position to Lucas Weber? You know, I, I think I put something about, you know, we've got to put the team first or something like that. Which does give us uh, sportsmanship, which does help us when we find a new team. That's literally the only two questions she asked. And then we go on to the cut scene with Lucas Weber and Devin Butler. I hope you're ready for my acting skills. Well, when it loads up, you should be ready for my acting skills. So here we are. We're walking back to the pits, Lucas Weber. And I think he apologises for about for being asking. Put through. So he's very disappointed that, you know, I've been asked to come through. And Devin Butler is complaining, you know, about um, me letting him through. And about the challenge of getting to F1 and saying that my less, uh, less talented teammate will get to F1 because he's got the most points. But really, Devin Butler, from this moment on, you hate him. You cannot stand him. He's always talking, always trying to get in your head. And as you can see here, Lucas Weber is not his best his best friend here. He's talking about how many drivers win in Formula 1. And Lucas Weber says, remind me how many wins you've won in F1. And uh, it doesn't say anything. And he tries to talk to me about, you know, you're going to let your less talented teammate win the the races pick up the points while you struggle in F2. He said, would you do it and would you swap it? You know, if it was swapped around, would you do the same scenario? Would he do it for you? So here is the second um, scenario. So the cutscene uh, wasn't there. But Lucas Weber goes into the side of us. No, not Lucas Weber. Sorry, Devin Butler goes into the side of us. We lose our front wing and we have to fight back. Devin has got a time penalty. But here we go. We're trying to move up the inside here. We've been looking and we've been trying to get back in this position for a couple laps now. Uh, we're trying to get into the points. And you can see that we're, we're trying everything to go around the inside. We're just having a little look. See, I, my style has changed so much since the last couple of seasons. I would have dived down the inside a long time ago. But now I'm trying to find, you know, the perfect way to overtake without causing a collision. And really, we didn't really do much in this race we, we managed to overtake one person I was still finding my way around this game uh, I put a difficulty I think I'm on 90 difficulty which is like expert or legendary it's one of those um, I was really struggling for pace I was struggling to keep up with uh, the drivers I was making ground on these three here uh, Devin Butler's at the, the front one of these and he's had his time penalty in the pit already so I'd have to pass him on track. We were catching them, but not enough. We caught them up, I think, a couple of seconds in the two laps that we had to catch them. But it wasn't enough. We're coming into the last few corners now. And as you can see, they are a mile in front. We managed to take these corners very well. As you can see, we were trying our best to keep up. And I think if they'd given us a couple more laps, we'd have probably got a couple of them. But there we go. We finish in 10th after the collision with Devin Butler. And, you know, this is where the rivalry sparks because... We were going through fine. Devin Butler cut across us in the cut scene and absolutely wipes us out. We lose the front wing. We have to go into the pit. He gets a time penalty. And yeah, the, both races are compromised. And that was literally uh, the Austrian Grand Prix, which wasn't actually too long ago, where um, there was a controversy between Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc in real life. But as you can see, another Brit on the top spot, which is always good to see. But it was a good good learning curve for me because I got to find out, you know, how to actually race the track, how the car handles. And obviously for the next scenario, I'm going to have to, to keep my guard up and hopefully uh, beat him in that. But as you can see there, I finished 10th. I think Devin Butler finished in 7th, which means he gets a few more points on us. But, you know, going to the next scenario, and we're very, very happy that we've we've managed to sort of figure out where the car is at. And sort of, uh, you know, go from there. See where, what we can perform from this last scenario. But uh, I don't think, I, I think I cut the uh, cut scene with um, the drivers winning the race. Because it's not, oh no, we go straight to the reporters again. I, I keep forgetting about the reporters. So um, this question is, the collision with Devon Butler cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed in the final result? Um, I can't remember what I put. I'm sure I was very like uh, annoyed with him. 
but I tried to like play it off. Do you think that you get the time back to Devon Butler? I think I put something about you know um, there was a lot of time lost, you know uh, there was no way to catch him up, something like that, which is very true. You know um, he was miles ahead. You and Lucas Weber have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your chances of the championship? Uh, I think I put something about the team, you know, performing really well. So you know we're trying our best to keep our, to bite our tongue, but also show that we're very good at very good sportsmen. And here we go. For the cut scene where Lucas Weber actually tries to stick up for me, which is which is really nice. Um, I really wish we'd have kept these scenarios so you could actually hear them properly. So here we go. Lucas Weber is annoyed with Devon Butler and pushes him. Uh, sorry, Lucas Weber is annoyed with Devon Butler, yeah. And he's complaining about the fact that he could have hurt someone really, really badly with his, uh, his incident there. And basically here, he's just saying that even with the time penalty, we'd have beat you. Well even, well, even with the time penalty, we did beat you. And the fact that he shouldn't have had a penalty, it was hard racing, and that he came across because he was had the racing line. But Weber's arguing that it was a very dangerous move and that he could have really hurt someone here. But uh, Devon's having none of it. It's nice that your teammate sticks up for you, you know. I thought that me and Weber would have like a more rivalry-based... Um, you know, team, but it turns out, you know, we're very much sportsmen and stuff like that. But as you can see here, you know, they're very heated, those two. I mean, I just seem to stand here and just listen. And Devin tries to, to like, oh, Tom, you know, it was just a racing incident. But, you know, Lucas have none of it. They're like, leave my Tom alone. But, you know, Devin is a bit of a prick. Now, as you can see, I did restart the, the race there because I forgot to give an intro. But here we go. The scenario is Devin Butler... Is leading the championship due to wins we are on the same number of points but he has more wins so we must finish in the points and we must finish above Devon Butler now the lights are out we go can we gain a position from the start we are we're up to seventh is it gonna hang around the outside it does try it momentarily gets seventh back but we managed to squeeze him out there and we do take seventh position now our teammates in front of us Devon Butler's a few places above that I think he's fourth you know, we, we're trying to figure out this track. I've not actually raced this track or practiced on this track at all. We do have a look at the inside of um, our teammate Weber. And we are having a look around the outside. We are just trying to figure out where the drivers, you know, sort of race their lines. What are they going to do for defending? That corner, I can never seem to get a great exit out of. But luckily, we have the slipstream of Weber to sort of push us and propel us forward in this race. Now, we're catching him up. Can we make a dive around the inside? Of this corner but as you can see we're quite far back we do break really late we do manage to put a move on Weber we give him a lot of room into that corner he could have took the you know the the curb on there but he does let us through and I do think the sort of his mindset there was in Spain when he you know needed points we let him through and he sort of helps us a, a lot there we are coming up to the back of Russell here and um, yeah so the first lap is pretty much done with and we're catching up Russell here we're gonna try and dive up the inside what I love about the AI drivers this year is they do defend a lot more he manages to get back onto the racing line we get a lot of speed out of the first corner the second corner and the third corner in fact we're having to slow down a tiny bit because he's that slow we manage to go around the outside can we make this stick he's trying to squeeze us out we give him a lot of space and I think there you can see that he sort of backed out of that move there. And we've managed to make it up to sixth position. Or is it fifth? We're in fifth position. And who is ahead of us right now? Devon Butler. Now we're coming down into this lap. We're managing to go down the main straight. We managed to get his slipstream. Can we make a dive up the inside? We're managing to catch him really slowly there. We managed to dive bomb up the inside. Devon Butler there has no chance of defending. We managed to throw that one up the inside. The car sort of back end steps out there. We managed to control that slide. And we are up into P4. Can we push on here? Because Devon Butler needs the points. We've managed to catch up to the top three. Devon Butler is quite far behind. Am I going to risk, you know, overtaking... And, you know, potentially damaging my car so uh, he can win. Or am I going to try and push ahead so he has to pass another car to uh, to get to us? As you can see here, 
We do try and launch one up the inside. We are battling really strong with this car here. And he does take his position back. But we do string it inside. We manage to make it stick. And what a move that is. We gave him enough room there you know, to, to make it a fighting line. And he does incredibly well there. But now we are up to lap number five. These two are battling ahead. They are going for positions. I am just going to follow them around the outside. And hopefully that one of them goes around a bit slowly. Which they do. We manage to get onto the gas there. We manage to get into second place. Can we take the other one on the main straight? We've got the speed. We've got DRS. We've got slipstream. We're going around the inside. And we take first position. So from the first race. When we struggled for grip. We struggled for overtaking. We struggled for speed. Into the last race in Abu Dhabi. And we are going to win the championship. We are going to beat Devon Butler and we're going to be F2 champions. We cross the line and ART are the world champions of Formula 2. What a result for us. What a race. And wow. You know, I, I cannot believe that we managed to overtake uh, seven cars in that race. Considering the uh, troubles that we had. So now... What's the scenario? We've, we've beat Devin Butler, you know, the, the guy that absolutely hates us. Um, what, where do we go from here? Do, do we uh, stay in F2? Do we, you know, get a, a contract from a top rated team? Or do we, do we, you know, sort of slug it out in the bottom teams and work our way up? So, as you can see, I come into the pit. The team are absolutely delighted with this. I was too. Uh, I didn't expect to, to have such a strong performance. Uh, George Russell there, who is obviously going into uh, Formula 1 in the, the next summer as well. He's actually in real life, he's already there. But obviously in this game, in the summer, he's going into uh, to Formula 1. Now, what is going on here? Can you believe the, the scenes that we've just seen? Look at that. Absolutely ecstatic with the win. I'm celebrating loads of cameras around. I'm going in with my team. And, you know, it's, it's an amazing feeling to win the, the F2 Championship. Um, look at the, the celebrations are just brilliant. You know, I, I love the, the cutscenes that they've put on this year. And, you know, we, we've struggled, you know, in the first couple scenarios. You know, we didn't do really well. But in that race, we absolutely stepped it up and absolutely took the race to Devon Butler. Now, what team would you sign for? You know, we've got, we're going to have a lot of contract offers. I don't show you who I've signed for in this. I don't particularly like the cutscene because we've, we've not got any um, audio with it. But what team would you sign for? Put down in the comments what team you'd sign for, if you could. And yeah, I've already signed for a team. I'm not going to tell you who I've signed for. But put in the comments who you predict I'm going to sign for. Now... The cutscene with obviously the uh, the reporter here, and she says, "Congratulations, you are the the drivers' champion. How does it feel?" Well, obviously, I'm going to say something about the team. You know, a fantastic team, and you know, we've all worked together. Was well, that was a filling race? How was the race for you? You know, I'm going to say, you know, we, we did a fantastic job. Uh, the team helped me a real lot there. Um, we hear rumors of your possible future. Care to comment? And then I think I've put again like it's something to see in the future but wow what a first episode to go on as well you know we, we really struggled in the first two scenarios and I, th I was thinking you know maybe I put the difficulty too high uh, I was just feeling my way into the race and then you know we played really really well and managed to, to do that but we come up to the scene with Devin Butler you know he's really really going to be frustrated and annoyed that we've managed to you know sort of cramp his style and uh, piss on his bonfire Look at the team, they're absolutely delighted. Lucas Weber gives me a high five there. And Devin Butler even congratulates me. And uh, I think he's basically saying about how fortunate I was to win. You know, he's, he's already got a contract in F1. That's what he's talking about. But he's saying that we were fortunate. And he says it's the only time that I'm ever going to beat him in a race. Or in a, in a championship is this one. So um, we've got a rival for when we go into F1. And Devin is, you know, an absolute bell end. We don't like him. I don't think anyone likes Devin Butler. He looks, just look at him. You can just tell that he looks like a prick in real life. Like, you just want to punch him in the face. I mean, obviously, I can't say that. But but now the scenario is, 
the next episode, we're going into F1. What team do you predict that I will choose for this series? Now, do I go for Mercedes and, you know, chance at winning every race? Same with Ferrari, Red Bull, try and challenge for races? Or do I start from the bottom with Williams or Racing Point? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.